normally in my PFA videos, I don't talk, but this time it's different because... I'm in Kenya, specifically Diani at the Columbus Conservation. Come take a look around. So this little more, like old chap came to us at four days old. Yeah. We've had a hand to wear him. He's about seven weeks now and we're just trying to get him used to being outside. He's finding a bit tough at the moment. Baby colourbus monkey. He can tell he's young by his white fluffy hair. And he'll get his black hair at about six months. Six months. Betsy yeah. is the longest surviving hand reared and golden colourbus monkey in the world. Tumbo has just become the first ever Angolan colobus monkey to be returned to the wild successfully. This is Braveheart. In the forest, he was uh, spasming, arms and legs just went totally out of control, he was shaking and um, just really in a, in a bad way. And then a huge improvement in everything. Poor animal was... Uh, I think most of us wondered whether it would actually make it through its first few days. Okay, so this is little Uji. He came in as a little orphan, only about six weeks old. And um, it's a difficult age. Too old to be totally hand-reared. Not quite big enough to be put in the big cage with the other monkeys. So a little bit of porridge and a syringe and some tiny little bits of chopped up fruit. In order to help protect the monkeys in Diani, the Colobus Conservation monitors the wild monkey populations, but they also carry out many other activities. Building and maintaining colobuses is a lot of work and costly, but it is vital. Since their introduction, the death rate has been significantly reduced. However, they need to be built in trees, and so there are many areas without a bridge. So we've just found the snare. Between a bit of wire between two trees, uh, shrubs. So now we're just cutting it away to make sure no monkeys or other animals can get trapped. Came to two branches that next to the power line, uh, so the monkeys can't get them very easily. Yeah, the monkeys get electrocuted at least once a week, uh, so we have to do this on a weekly basis. Give us your money. We want to insulate these power lines. <laughs> Thank you. You can come and visit us, or even volunteer yourself. But for now, please, please like, comment, and share this video, and help monkeys like these. Thank you. Find out more by clicking here. Happy P4A.